Building along Liberty Square goes from this to this in just a matter of seconds. Take a look at what was left behind. That's the old Ethan Allen building at the intersection of Kansas and Water. It collapsed while undergoing massive renovations. And right now, crews are still going through all the rubble. 41 Action News reporter Lisa Benson joins us live from the scene now. And Lisa, one small business set to move in, of course, now can't. Well, according to this building permit, they are investing more than a half a million dollars in this structure that is now surrounded by fencing. And according to the fire marshal, it will be demolished. Renovation plans for this historic building at 1 North Water Street in downtown Liberty have collapsed. We heard what sounded like a large freight train coming through. Uh, I ran out front, saw the bricks falling to the front. Those falling bricks covered the sidewalk and proved that the building was too unstable for firefighters to enter. Cadaver dogs were brought in to search for victims. They didn't get any hits or anything, so we're, we're fairly confident that there's nobody in the building. Um, we did not have any injuries. The historic building, built in the 1880s, will have to be demolished. Set to move in, the owners of the online jewelry boutique, Nickel and Suede. The Liberty business owners were planning to lease a space in the new renovated building and open in June. Owner Kylie Nichols used Facebook to tell her customers the bad news, writing, it's a huge bummer and we aren't sure what's next, but things will work out. The Clues business, the Rock and Run Brewery, is right next door. He's waiting for structural engineers to determine if he can reopen. It's kind of a, a big damaging blow to uh, downtown Liberty. Uh, this was going to be a uh, property that a lot of uh, tenants were going to move into as far as uh, businesses kind of help revitalize things. So uh, we'll have to see what happens. Now back here live, we, we back here live, we called MTS Contracting and the Architectures. Both refused to comment on the collapse or the future of this property. Reporting live in Liberty, Lisa Benson, 41 Action News.